topic in today's video we will learn how we can do c programming in termux os or actually it is a version of linux os which can run in android os first uh, we have to update the termux before installing c compiler for that we will write a p t update So it will come like this and uh, it will show that uh, if anything up can be updated that will show and if any upgrades are available that will also show here as here displaying 8, eight packages can be upgraded. Run apt upgrade. Now we will write again apt upgrade. Remember if you are sometime what happened if you are install installing the termux from play store uh, apt update command might not work for that purpose you can install the termux from a different source i will give a good source in comment section from there you can download definitely their apt update and upgrade will work now after updating we have to upgrade the apt so we will write apt upgrade so it asking me permission to apply the upgrade for it we will type y after typing y it will start installing the upgrade so whatever application i already installed inside termux that applications are updating if updates are available and every time it is not necessary that you have to update only if your system is already updated then this might not required now we have to install one text editor we can use vim or either nano i'm going to install nano so we will write pkz that means package install nano n a n o then enter and you will see here It's showing like that uh, building uh, dependency tree, reading state information done. Nano is already the newest version. Means Nano I have already installed in my system. So I don't have to install it again. But if you are doing it for the first time, it will install Nano. For that you have to give permission by typing Y. After that also we have to install one C compiler. That one C lang we will install here. So we will write PKG install c l a n g so here also same thing i have already installed c lang so it is showing that uh, already it is installed no need to upgrade now we have to write a program in nano means we have to open the text editor which is nano to do that first we will write nano n a n o after that the file name which we will do and remember uh, if we create a new file that file will create in our home directory that means root directory or the top level directory but if we want to create our own folder then we can write this command m k d i r means make directory after that name of the directory suppose i am giving the directory name as code so c o d e it will come like that now let's check whether directory created or not for that we can type ls command that is list it will list all the folders and files whatever available in home directory so we can see here whatever displaying in blue color that are folders and the green colors are system files and white color are my own files now I'll go to the code folder for that we will write cd that means change directory and the folder name which is code. Now you see in front of the dollar sign code is there that means I am inside the code folder. If I want to go back then I will just type cd. Then you can see I am on home directory. If I want to go back again to code then cd c o d e code ok. So these are the basic file command in Linux. Now we will open nano and there we will create a new file that file name will be 
cprogram.c or something program.c so we'll write n a n o after that the file name let the file name be p r o g r a m dot c enter so this is nano text editor here we can write the programs let's write a simple c program first we'll put the header file include then within angle bracket s t d i o dot h after that int main i n t m a i n bracket on and off and we will put curly braces next line we'll give one space and here we will write printf statement print f and double co inverted comma hello c and inverted comma close and bracket close after that semicolon and next line return as our return type is int so we must return something so return zero and again semicolon now we will close the bracket now after writing the program this is a simple program which is displays just one sentence hello c now we have to save the program to save the program we will type first type control then c on the s on the keyboard control s to save the file okay root six line that means uh, six lines saved now we have to exit from the editor for that control and x now i'm exiting from the editor now we will have to compile the program for that we are we are going to use gcc compiler first we'll write the compiler name gcc one space then the file name that is program dot c and if we want to give a customized output file name then we can write that for that we'll give this o and one name suppose i am writing it is as code c o d e code enter if there is any mistake we'll see the mistakes otherwise we'll just get one blank cursor that means my program uh, compiled successfully there is no mistake now to see the output we'll first type one full stop then slash then the name of the output file which is code c o d e code here you can see the output hello c so this way we can uh, run a simple c program in termx not only simple we can uh, write any type of c program in termx for that you don't have to install any other c compiler in your mobile and the great thing is that uh, you can practice programming without any ads there is no ads in termx app so without any ads you can practice c programming and even you will you will be good in uh, command linux commands your practice will be now if you want to see what files and folders are there in my code folder inside my code folder you can just type ls you can see here we have to here uh, one system file that is code and one is program.c that whatever display in green color they are system file okay <coughs> or from which we can get output and to exit from the termx we can simply type e x i t remember in windows we click on shutdown then the operating system off but in linux or sorry in termx we have to type exit exit up uh, then it will exit from the system again to open we will type we will click on termx after that suppose i want to see what program i have already created so i have created the program inside code folder first i will go to the code folder for that cd c o d e code and inside that my program name is program.c if i want to open the output then we'll write the output name like slash code this is the output if i want to get the code then nano then program dot c this is our program 
and to exit from the nano editor we will type control and x even we can use vim editor also for that we can write vim then program dot c then it will open in vim editor so who are who have a bit knowledge about linux os they will definitely know what is vim it is an text editor where programming programmers can write programs see the same program now opened in vim editor in vim editor also for exiting i think we can do control x only control and x oops so this way we can write c program i hope you have understood thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye